morning my little chickadees today is monday may i don't know what actually may 4th today is monday may 4th you guys it is about 11 45 and i have already had a full day i have been up since eight o'clock because today i did my last presentation ever of college y'all listen i don't even know what to do with myself I don't even know what to do with myself but because I was already up and going I decided to go ahead and film the second half of my haul which should be up by now so I will leave a card right here for you guys to go ahead and click on that if you have not already seen it but hello welcome back or welcome to if you're new my name is Abria Perry and welcome to my channel welcome to another day in the life in the house I don't know if this is gonna be a weekly vlog, I don't know if this is gonna be a daily vlog, but all I know is that I'm feeling good and when I'm feeling good, I like to pick up the camera. And even when I'm not feeling so good, I like to pick up the camera too and keep it real with you guys. But if you're new to my channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers in 2020 and I would really, really appreciate it if you guys could help me out with that by subscribing. It's free and all I do is post videos with you guys, for you guys. And that's really all I'm about to do now because I'm done with school. So, yeah guys, I filmed some videos this morning. I was going to show you guys that, but I only have my little camera with me right now. So I couldn't really vlog and film at the same time. So, yeah, that is what I did this morning. Just finished taking some pictures. I made a couple TikToks. And now I'm about to do a flat lay while I wait on some groceries to be delivered. I have been using Shipt for grocery deliveries because Atlanta is an absolute madhouse right now. And I'm really trying to limit my time out around other people as much as I can. So, groceries are really only the only thing that I was doing. So, by streamlining the process to delivery it has made my life so much easier and I just feel so much safer and like I'm doing my part to really kind of contribute in, in this thing so waiting on groceries I'm gonna do this flat lay while I wait um, and then it is almost 12 o'clock so I can break my fast I have been in doing intermittent fasting so I guess I will take you guys along with me on that this week as well and just whatever we get into I think I'm probably gonna go for a drive today a little celebratory done with school um, forever drive which is absolutely insane in a few short days I will officially be a Clark Atlanta University alumna um, I am graduating with a degree in business administration with a concentration in finance and international business summa cum laude y'all absolutely insane to think about absolutely mind-boggling nothing but God so thankful to my parents all of my friends that I have met along this journey if you guys have been watching my vlogs for since i started you know that i started my youtube um at the beginning of my college journey and i vlogged and i just really wanted to give people a look into hbc experience and show them a healthy look at what it means to be a young black woman so it has been an absolutely amazing journey and the one thing I would say to anybody who's about to go to school is go to the school that is right for you, no matter what kind of school that is. But I highly recommend an HBCU if you are considering it. Um, even if you're not black, we have all types of different people who go to my school. But the experience that you get and the family that you get is just absolutely unmatched. And I am coming out with a full-time job, a really great opportunity, and an amazing idea of what I want to do with my life, even though things are subject to change, but at least I feel confident stepping out into life um, upon graduation. So that is my little HBCU spiel, <laughs> rah rah, love my school, all that good stuff, but...
Welch's fruit snack. Pretty much everything that you would find in a child's lunchbox <laughs> are the snacks that he got. Nutri-Grain bars. I got some Nature Valley Crunchy bars. Some toasted crackers. These are for both of us. And then some pretzel crisps. These are like my go-to little snack because I can have 11 crackers and still be decent. When I want something crunchy instead of eating chips, they're still not like the best thing in the world for you but I got some Cheerios and over here is just all of our other stuff that needs to go in the refrigerator we got eggs broccoli some onions spinach So what's different about this grocery shop is that I've been trying to get minimal snacks. Like, I love Milano cookies and at the beginning of this, I was eating way too many of them, but I had really limited to myself. But I, my last one's on Saturday and I didn't get any more. If I really, really start craving them, maybe I'll order some. But honestly, I'm just really trying to cut down and really lose some pounds during this lockdown um since i'm not going out to eat it's not as tempting so i decided to just kind of start to slowly wean myself away from even having tempting stuff in the house as well so i didn't really get any sweet stuff i have plenty of fruit i have my pretzel crisps if i want something like salty and crunchy and yeah we'll see what happens typically once I stop wanting sweet stuff, I pretty much just stop wanting sweet stuff. So because I've been really kind of limiting myself the last couple weeks to wean myself off, I'm starting to feel better. And usually if I'm full, then I won't really want anything sweet. So hopefully I can just keep myself full enough with the things that I'm eating and my intermittent fasting to be okay. We got some cranberry juice. Tons of fruit, which I'm gonna wash and let sit for a little while. And yeah, and we got some chicken that I'm going to clean. I'm gonna let that soak while I eat my breakfast. I'm gonna put it Sometimes I do 
this in the sink when I'm not also cleaning chicken or cleaning meat, but I'm going to fill up my fruit and water and a little bit of white vinegar, which I'm also going to use, I get out two capsules of white vinegar. which is also going to be used. He brought us absolutely horrible oranges. These oranges are disgusting. chicken once it's unthawed and then I just go ahead and let it unthaw and then I season it. Some people like to season it before you freeze it but I don't like that because when it unthaws it's kind of like you lose some of your seasoning because it like turns into the water that's in the bag from being frozen. So I'm not a fan. So I'm gonna let this sit in here for about 20 minutes and then I will rinse it all off and then let it soak again and then rinse it all off again and then clean off all the nasty parts and rinse it again. <laughs> and then I'll put it in the bag. Every time to do this process, I say to myself, like, is it really that deep? Like, maybe I should just stop eating meat if I have to do all of this to it. But. So it's later in the day and we're about to go for a drive, a little done with college celebratory situation since we can't really go anywhere or do anything. We're just gonna go for a ride and I like to look at a lot of the houses in Atlanta and just look at how pretty they are and the yards and all that stuff. So that's probably what we're going to do. I haven't been out the house in literally like two weeks, like actually gone for a drive or anything. I've literally just been in the house finishing up schoolwork and I usually would like do my workout on the porch or something so I'm really excited to just go out it's really nice outside I still have on the same outfit that I've had on all day and I just put on these super old slides that I've literally had since high school I got them from Urban Outfitters like a really long time ago but they're just my kick around slides so I just put these on it's like 80 something degrees outside really nice in Atlanta 
and I may or may not be placing an order for something from trend styling for myself as a graduation gift so I'm very excited about that but let's go comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram so you never miss any of the fun and the jokes and the fashion <laughs> so i will see you guys later bye